What's up everyone, Andrew Baina here, and on today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at the brand new guitar for 2023 from Sterling by Music Man. This is the Cutlass CT50 Plus. Now, as you may or may not remember, I did have the original version of the CT on my channel about a year or two ago. I really liked that guitar, and this one is even better, which I'm very happy to say, because the changes that they made, according to their website, are not that extreme, so I was kind of like, is this really gonna make a difference? And from what I recall about the CT50, I definitely would recommend getting this one over the CT50. Both of them are great though. But anyways, I'm getting way too ahead of myself. In case you've never watched one of my guitar demos before, what I like to do on this channel is show you what the guitar sounds like in a full demo mix, talk about the specs and features, show you a few different solo to tone clips, and then of course, last but not least, talk about my thoughts and opinions on this instrument. Before we move on, I do wanna mention that this guitar was sent to me by Sterling by Music Man. They're not sponsoring or paying for this video, and they're not gonna see this video before it goes live, so they have no input on anything I say. I do want to mention, however, that this video is partially sponsored by Auto Audio. I'm actually using their 1111 plugin for the rhythm tone that you're about to hear. So if you like how that sounds, go check out their plugin. It's in the description and the pinned comment below. And also, of course, if you're interested in grabbing one of these guitars for yourself, after you watch this video, please go check out my affiliate link, which will also be in the description and the pinned comment below to go buy one of these bad boys over on Sweetwater. With that all being said, first and foremost, I'm going to show you what this guitar sounds like in a full demo mix. For this demo, I'm only tuned to drop D. Don't click off the video just yet. I know it's a lot higher than I normally tune, but what I'm doing is playing a cover of a song called Courtney Just Relax by a band called Static Dress. Here's how the guitar sounds in a full demo mix.
Okay, now that you've heard how the Cutlass CT50 Plus sounds in a full demo mix, let's talk about the specs and features of this instrument. First and foremost, we'll talk about what is new about the Plus model versus the regular CT50. So the pickups have been redesigned and changed so they sound a little bit different than the OG CT50, I guess is the way you would put it. It also has a push-push pot on the volume knob, which actually acts as a mid boost. You can see a big boost in volume on the mids on these pickups. It's pretty sweet sounding. Another new feature is they also added these awesome giant perloid block inlays, which look absolutely beautiful and pop on this road maple fretboard and then of course the finish options are also new and were not originally available on the ct50 this is the chalk gray finish that i have right here but it also comes in kind of an aqua color which is also really nice moving on to the rest of the specs of this guitar we have a poplar body as you can see here with the vintage tremolo style bridge which is proprietary to sterling by music man we have a humbucker single and single for pickups a five-way pickup selector down there tone knob volume knob and again that is the push push for that mid boost moving on to the neck we have a 25 and a half inch scale length with 22 frets on the chalk finish both the fretboard and the back of the neck are both roasted maple on the other finish it is a rosewood board but on this one in particular it has that roasted maple which i personally think looks better other than that we have sterling's own locking tuners which you can see right there always a big fan of locking tuners on any guitar because it helps speed up that string change process a lot and as i always say efficiency is key okay now that you know the specs and features of the cutlass ct50 plus i'm going to show you how a few different tone clips sound on this instrument by themselves so we'll do a modern high gain rhythm tone which is the same as what you were hearing in that demo song a clean tone and then a bit of a lead tone as well so with that being said here's how the guitar sounds by itself <laughs>
Okay, now that you've heard how it sounds in a demo mix, you know the specs, and you've heard how the guitar sounds by itself. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about my thoughts and opinions on this instrument. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, I think this guitar is pretty sweet. It's also not very expensive. At the time of filming this video, this guitar retails for $650 USD over on Sweetwater and other similar retailers, which I think is a very, very good price for this guitar. It's only slightly more expensive than the original version of the CT50, but like I said, in my opinion, I think that the upgrades warrant the cost and if you have that little bit of extra money and you were looking at one of these guitars anyways I personally would recommend the 50 plus because I do think that the pickups sound a little bit better the construction quality feels about the same as the CT50 they're both great in that regards and personally I really like the block inlay look so that's up to you whether you like that or not the overall construction of this guitar feels absolutely fantastic the finish like I was saying earlier in my opinion looks really good the only thing that I don't personally like about this guitar which is totally just my personal preference and nothing to do with like a manufacturer error or something like that is I personally do not like middle pickups that's just me uh, the cool thing about this guitar is I'm willing to bet if you take this pick guard off you can probably replace it with the pick guard and just you know get rid of that middle pickup I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like that's probably likely. Other than that though, again, the fit, finish, and feel of this guitar is excellent. There's no sharp fret ends at all. The fretboard feels great. It's a little weird depending on your play style to only have 22 frets. In my opinion, I never really play leads, so I don't really care about only having 22 frets. But if you need those extra two, that's something to keep in mind. The tuning stability appears to be pretty good, although I haven't tried tuning it a lot lower, which is what I would normally do. In drop D, it pretty much stayed in tune really well. Something that I can't speak on just because I personally never, ever, ever use whammy bars or tremolo bridges is I personally did not put this thing through the test for the bridge to test the tuning stability. So I'm sorry about that, but it's just not the way I play. So all in all, I am very impressed with this guitar. Sterling continues to impress me. I know that a few years back, before I started working with them, I had one of their original like JP60s or whatever, and I thought it was okay, not amazing. I thought the finish and feel looked and felt great, but the guitar itself sounded kind of eh. Whereas the latest iterations starting from like 2021, 2022 onwards have pretty much always been excellent. I have two Sterling guitars that I always keep in my repertoire or uh, inventory. That's not the word I'm looking for. In my collection, there we go which are the Majesty 7 string and the JP 6 string. I don't think I'm ever gonna sell those guitars. I think those ones are keepers personally. Those are a bit more expensive than these though. So if you're on a tighter budget, I do really think that these guitars are pretty worth the money. And yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say about this instrument. Not really anything negative to talk about this time around, which I love to do. Love when that happens. Always much, much better than complaining about a guitar when you just get it. Although to be fair, if I complained about the whole time, I'd probably get more views. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. So again, a big thank you to Sterling by Music Man for sending this guitar over to me. If you are interested in grabbing one of these for yourself, please consider purchasing it over on Sweetwater using my affiliate link because I do make a little bit of kickback from that and I would greatly appreciate it since it helps me to continue to keep running this channel. Also, a big thank you to Auto Audio for partially sponsoring this video. Again, if you liked that rhythm tone, go check out that plugin. It sounds really sick, and the link to that is in the description and the pinned comment below as well. And last but not least, if you're interested in audio downloads, guitar tabs, stems, or a shout out on the screen like these lovely people here, you can find all of that over on my Patreon page, which is linked in the pinned comment and the description below. That's all I gotta say. Let me know if you have any comments or questions in the comment section below. I look forward to reading them all, and I'll see you next time.